If you're a fan of real estate shows on Netflix, you've definitely watched the show Dream Home Makeover. Starring the principals of the interior design firm Studio McGee, the show follows Shay and Sid McGee as they help make dreams come true for real families looking to update their homes tailored to their own unique style. Over the course of four seasons, we've witnessed Shay and Sid transform spaces and entire homes with their beloved rustic modern style and approachable design. Which begs the question, what about Shay and Sid's own home? What does the home of the most famous interior design couple on Netflix look like? I'm sure you're curious. So as per usual, I'm going to take you inside Shay and Sid's custom-built forever home and review every design detail for your viewing pleasure. It all started when Shay decided to remodel and design her and Sid's first home. She documented the entire process and shared it with her Instagram followers. In no time, her small social following started to grow and soon became a massive community with a passion for interior design. Shay and Sid leaned into the momentum quitting their full-time careers in communications and tech and launching Studio McGee in 2014 with a mission to make life beautiful. Before long, they were designing and renovating homes full-time. Since then, they wrote the New York Times best-selling book, Make Life Beautiful, starred in the Netflix show Dream Home Makeover, and launched McGee & Co, an e-commerce brand that's a one-stop shop for all the best design people Pieces, which they've since partnered up on with Target to make it available in brick and mortar stores as well. Speaking of e-commerce, I have officially launched my own Amazon store. I've put together a collection of everyday, practical, quality household items, which I use personally and professionally, from beauty and personal care, to home decor, to kitchen and bath, and everything in between. Take this electric wine bottle opener, for example. It takes all the fuss out of the process so you can focus on enjoying the wine. Here's a quick demo. Foil cutter neatly removes the foil. Electric opener extracts the cork. Pour and enjoy. Click the link in the description to order your very own electric wine bottle opener from Amazon. Back to Shay and Sid. They broke ground on their forever home in 2018 and completed the build in two years. It has a flat exterior with mirror image gables on either side of the front door. Three exterior finishing materials were used. Masonry brick, whitewashed over grouted stone and hardy board siding. The brick, siding and trim were all painted in soft white to create a modern look. The roof is covered in cedar shingles while the copper eaves troughs and downspouts add character to the home. My favorite part, however, is the custom front door. The curvature of the arch and the magic black finish stand out against the flat white exterior. The journey to the interior begins with a cozy entryway lined with the same painted bricks from the exterior of the home to create continuity. The statement of the entryway, however, is a grand barrel archway that opens onto the 25 foot vaulted ceiling of the great room. But before we get into the great room, let's talk about Sid's home office tucked away at the far end of the entryway. French doors with a reeded detail and brass hardware open onto a dark and moody office with herringbone floors, custom built-ins, wall paneling, a shiplap ceiling, and a custom desk that you can pull out and swing around. Mushroom linen drapery and woven shades add the right amount of warmth to the space. Now, back to the great room. Once you step through the barrel archway, you find yourself in a big open concept space that encompasses the great room, the kitchen, and the dining room. The floor plan is laid out in such a way, however, that still allows each room to be its own individual space. Since you get 25 foot vaulted ceilings in the great room, naturally you also get exposed trusses made from Douglas fir wood that matches perfectly with the natural matte finish of the white oak hardwood floors. Dropping down from in between the trusses is a 72 inch diameter wagon wheel chandelier. To create dimension in the room, the firebox was built out to create a break in the walls 
and the fireplace surround is made from natural stone that weighs several thousand pounds. In contrast, custom built-ins on either side of the firebox are recessed into the wall. You'll notice the level of detail with the custom steel doors and a shiplap back panel which ties in with other shiplap themes throughout the home. Above the fireplace is a picture TV with a wood frame around it that allows it to turn into a beautiful painting that completes the space. Onto the heart of the home, the kitchen. It's an English inspired kitchen with modern functionality. It's anchored by a 13 foot island with a dark brown stain, open storage and a breakfast bar. The island itself is adorned by a Calcutta Aura marble countertop with grey and gold veining. At the centre of it is a farmhouse sink with a really cool marble drip edge and brass plumbing fixtures. And on either side of the sink is a brilliantly hidden panel dishwasher. Look up and you notice the understated green leather and gold pendants that illuminate the island. Behind the island is the range, which is by far my favourite part of the kitchen. A Lacanche range with dual ovens in Chantilly white, with silver and brass accents which match the brass pot filler that protrudes out of the same marble slab backsplash as the countertops. Towering above the range is a plaster hood with a delicate slope, surrounded by cream coloured shaker style cabinets with a cove bead detail around the profile. The way Weighted brass hardware comes in all shapes and sizes, be it knobs, cup pulls, latches or long pulls for the panelled fridge and freezer. The final element is symmetrical pocket doors that frame the kitchen on either side to hide the mudroom and the pantry. The pantry features dark stained white oak countertops with a clay tile backsplash and a sink with running water. Appliances include a steam oven, a microwave drawer and a built-in oven with open slots on each side for baking trays and cutting boards. The mudroom on the other hand features custom built-ins with vented closets and breathing shoe drawers, as well as a large industrial style stainless steel sink with a magnetic pull down faucet. The walls and ceiling are covered in vertical shiplap. The most unique thing about the mudroom however is the wall to wall windows that let in a ton of natural light, something you don't see often since mudrooms are usually tucked away in the dark corner of the home. Off to the side from the kitchen is the dining space. To create a sense of separation from the kitchen without erecting physical boundaries, the ceiling was raised to 12 feet and turned into a coffered ceiling with a lip detail and shiplap back. Wall to wall, floor to ceiling windows illuminate the space on all three sides, giving it a sunroom feel with views of the backyard landscape, while linen drapes kiss the floor to emphasize the light and airy feel. You notice the drapes meet in the corners to create continuity. And in case you're wondering, yes, that is a real olive tree in the corner. The master bedroom. It's actually on the main floor. The archway in the living room steps into a vestibule with a stunning hand cut reader detail and at the end of it is a dreamy bedroom with a vaulted shiplap ceiling and exposed beams. The darker matte finish on the ceiling not only draws your eyes upwards but also ties in with the colour of the fireplace mantle that sits just above the marble surround. The window treatments are aesthetically pleasing as they are functional. The power operated woven shades with black outliner are perfect for blocking light, while the luxe linen drapes in oyster colour elevate the look of the space. That leaves an arts and crafts room accessible by an archway from the kitchen. sums up the main floor. But before I walk you through the other floors, let's explore the outdoor space. Remember the windows that span the entire living room? They're actually bifold doors that open up entirely onto a covered patio with a stone fireplace for a true indoor-outdoor living feel. 
step off the covered patio and you'll find yourself in the dining and outdoor fire pit area dressed up in diamond concrete pavers. You get a built-in barbecue with storage and counter space. Behind the barbecue is a garden area with raised garden boxes fashioned out of cedar. When in season, you can find the McGee's growing potatoes, artichokes, herbs, tomatoes, peppers, watermelon, cantaloupe, squash, you name it. Tucked away at the far end is a shaded area with towering century old trees and a hammock at the base. The perfect place for some quiet time or a midday nap. Then there's the kids play area. It comes with a playhouse above a shaded sandbox, swings and an in-ground trampoline. Finally, the best part, the pool and pool house. The pool is 20 by 40 feet and is surrounded by Italian limestone pavers. The color of the pool is called hematite, which is a dark blue tinge that looks clean and fresh. The hot tub is set up above ground, separate from the pool so that it's usable in the winter. The pool house shares the same exterior finishes as the main house, including the siding, the copper eavesdrops and downspouts, and the cedar shingles. So it feels like an extension of the home rather than an afterthought. Sliding pocket doors open up the space entirely so it doesn't feel shielded from the outdoors. It features a kitchenette that opens up onto an outdoor bar and a lounging space with a fireplace. There's also a separate powder bath for convenience. Hidden behind the pool house is a cool outdoor shower. Time to go upstairs. There's three bedrooms on the second floor in addition to the master, as well as a spacious, bright and airy laundry room. The highlight of the second floor, however, is Shay's studio. At the center of it is a ceiling vault with collar ties that run across, while the rest of the studio is covered in shiplap, including the walls and ceiling for a clean look. The space is carved out into individual dedicated workstations, including a work desk, an open table to lay out samples and look through design books, pin boards to visualize the design process, a lounging area, and storage drawers inconspicuously built into the wall. And finally, the basement. Fun fact, prior to its completion, it was used as the makeshift set for the first two seasons of Dream Home Makeover. Now, it's one of the coolest basements you'll see. And it all starts with the fact that the door is built into the barrel archway at the front entrance. A short trip down the stairs and you'll find yourself in a bright open space with tongue and groove ceilings that are quite high for a basement. It's made up of individual areas that flow seamlessly. First is a dedicated media space with a projector screen and a built-in sound system flanked by cool arched built-ins. It flows into the kitchenette area, which is anchored by a bold marble slab backsplash set against custom cabinets with a floor matching stain and a unique kerf detail. Don't be fooled, however, not all cabinets are equal because some are hidden doors that lead into a storage closet. A stone's throw away from the kitchenette is the rec space that has a fireplace with a custom stepped marble surround and an air hockey table. There's also a guest bedroom that comes with its own ensuite. It has a tray ceiling with exposed beams, dreamy mural wallpaper, and a full-size window, which is quite rare for a basement bedroom. The powder room is designed around an antique chalk sink imported from Italy. I want to say that the home gym is the final room in the basement, but we haven't even gotten into the fun part. There's a skate room with a built-in skate ramp, and as if that's not enough, the room also has a climbing wall and a sauna. And that's it. That is my detailed walkthrough review of the home of Netflix's most famous interior design couple. Shay McGee has mastered the art of rustic modern design in every sense of the word. Check out the full build on Studio McGee's YouTube channel. Link is in the description. And if you haven't already, catch Dream Home Makeover now in its fourth season on Netflix. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe for more awesome content. Don't forget to check out my Amazon store to get yourself an electric wine bottle opener. Link also in the description. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.